Blake Scholl is preparing to bring back supersonic flight to the aviation world. At the Paris Air Show, his company launched a project for a plane that could fly twice the speed of sound. 50 years after Concorde was designed with wind tunnel, slide rolls and drafting paper, we now have carbon fiber composites, advanced aerodynamics and new engines that allow supersonic flight to be accessible to tens of millions of people in a way that's economically and environmentally sustainable. The company's raised more than $100 million to build a 55-seater plane that it says would be affordable and produce zero carbon emissions. They hope to have a prototype flying by 2020. It's not the only supersonic aircraft project. A number of US startups, airlines and even NASA are in the race. But commercial aviation has been here before. It's been more than 15 years since the British-French Concorde stopped flying. It was a feat of engineering. It could only fly over the sea at supersonic speeds, though, because of the very noisy sonic boom. And despite its popularity, it never broke even financially. The challenges are they're, they're coming into a world that uh, has changed since Concorde. Uh, environmental restrictions, noise uh, thing around airports have, uh, are much stricter. So how does that fit in? Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, composite structures, materials, CFD modelling, uh, engine technology, they've all improved. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how it, how, it, how it turns out. If supersonic travel becomes a reality again, a seven and a half hour flight between Paris and New York would be halved and a new generation of people could experience travelling through the sky at breathtaking speed. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.